Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel today. I am massively, massively excited. Please, please subscribe and click the bell if you are new to the channel. And thank you very much for joining me today. Last year, or at least late last year, I decided to team up with Voodoo Custom Pickups over in the US. I got a few friends that are YouTubers over there and they were already in talk with Voodoo Custom Pickups. And then I jumped on and I've been wanting to put out my own custom pickup for some time it seemed the right time I had a talk with Rich who owns Guru Custom Pickups over there he's a lovely guy and the important thing for me was that I got the pickup to my specs exactly how I wanted it and that I could relay to him exactly what I wanted and he understood it at his, at his end we had a good relationship from the start he listens really well and more importantly he put up with me some of you will know that I am quite uh, anal over um, for want of a better word over anything that I'm putting my name to whether it's a product that I put on the channel or whether it is you know like my signature boost pedal my name's going on it it has to be exactly how I want it it has to be good I don't put things on their channel that are, that are crap. I know a lot of YouTubers get a lot of views from putting things on their channel and saying they're garbage, but I don't really invite garbage onto the channel in the first place. It's just the way I operate and it's just the way I am. So it was really important I had a good relationship with Rich and he understood everything that I wanted from a pickup. Now we discussed pickups for months, you know, weeks and weeks, and I explained to him what I wanted, which I'm going to explain to you guys now. So. I really like qualities that the old school Les Pauls have. Um, they have a very tight mid range, it's very attacking. Even though they're not high output, they're great for recording riffs. Very clear, very attacking, very precise, uh, very pronounced high upper mids. Now, that's what I wanted my pickup to have, but then there were qualities of other pickups too. You know, low end punch, a bit higher gain, I guess a bit more modern uh, sizzle thrown in there and mixed in there. I really like. <laughs> Hello, this is Scylla by the way. Welcome to the channel, Scylla. Have you subscribed? Click the bell? No, probably not. Um, yeah, it was really important for me to get exactly what I wanted. Like, I named pickups that I like, like the EMG81, the Duncan Distortions. Invaders, Gamazio, Super Distortions, the Gibson uh, 498T and also the older generation um, Alnico 4 pickups too. Now after we talked to each other for quite some time we decided that we wanted to put together what I refer to as a hybrid pickup. It had to be extreme, it had to be over the top. I wanted the pickup to be different from anything else to the extremes that when you plug a guitar in with my signature pickup in that it would you would know and it would change how your amp reacted you know change how you play but I wanted it to be different from any other pickup I wanted it to be extreme we named the pickup the chaos and I think the chaos from what I've heard from Rich's end who's already uh, heard the pickup obviously from the way he's described it, it sounds like it is high in the mids, very punchy, very over the top, lots of sustain, very chainsaw-like, very cutting in the mix, and that is exactly what I wanted. I've not fit them yet, but they have arrived today, and I'm going to show you guys the pickups. Not only have we spent a lot of time discussing exactly what we want the specs of the pickup and the tone of the pickup and the dynamics of the pickup to sound like, we have also spent a hell of a lot of time on what they look like. These ones are the prototype and they may be tweaked. They have my logo on and also the Voodoo uh, custom logo on there as well. We're going to open them now. They've come all the way from the US and Rich got them to me super fast somehow. Like, I don't know how. They've not even showed up on tracking in the UK yet. I got home today, sent Rich a message saying, the pickups have not shown up yet over here. It might take a couple of days before they show on our system. And before they show on our system, they're actually on my doorstep. So this is really cool. Um, I can't show you this side of the package because it's got my address on and everything. And obviously you guys, you know, I don't know who even watching my channel. I don't want tons of you guys turning up on my doorstep and stealing my lovely pickups. <laughs> Let's have a look at them. Wow. 
<laughs> okay, so I've only seen pictures of them obviously they're from the US. This is the first time I've seen them in the flesh and they look awesome. Absolutely awesome. So I'm going to show you them now. I hope you guys can see. It says made in the USA on the bottle which is pretty cool. Hope you guys can see them. Obviously this is the full set. This is the prototype version. I will be putting these very soon in this guitar here. It's going to have a clean up a restring anyway it's due one it's got Jackson pickups in there which I do quite like actually they are pretty good pickups but what I'm gonna do uh, is replace them because all the wax started pumping out of there it's so hot in this room uh, at the beginning of the summer we had a bit of a heat wave and I noticed the wax was seeping out so this is what they look like this may change although they do look pretty awesome I have to admit the ceramic magnet that is in the neck pickup there is 13.63 as you can see there that's pretty hot we will see how it sounds it looks fantastic I can't stop looking at the voodoo logo on there it really does look nice that voodoo logo um, I'm gonna get them out of the box in a minute this pickup here for me is the important one because I stay on the bridge pickup mainly anyway like most of us probably do this one here is actually an Alnico 4 magnet and a ceramic magnet hybrid I'm not going to give too much away about that yet but we are hoping that you know the aim of the pickup is that it has the pronounced clear attacking high mids but also has a modern sizzly edge to it now these are overwound to hell this is the hottest pickup I've ever owned it is 20.4 K which is obviously super 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 hot and from what Rich said Rich actually said to me when he tried the pickup at his end, he said exactly what I wanted him to say. He said that it's very chainsaw like, it's very pronounced in the mids, it's very in your face and he said he liked it that much, he's going to have to make one for himself. Now that for me is a massive thing when the maker of the pickup actually wants one himself because he loves it that much. This is... Um, what I call a hybrid the pickup set itself if you didn't know already is called the chaos set and the name speaks for itself I'm expecting it to bring you know some chaos and when you plug this pickup in let's hope that it does exactly what it is supposed to do in terms of give you something that's you know there's so many pickups around today for me that yeah they're all different but like there's that many pickups I could actually use and be happy with like I don't know I could pick probably five six pickups out of all the brands that I would happily use and I'll name them like EMG 81 Gibson 498T which we already mentioned the one thing for me about the 498T was that it's a bit scratchy on the top end it's not quite smooth enough um, so I do like it for riffing, in fact it's almost a perfect pickup for me in my opinion for riffing it's just that when you start soloing and playing leads it gets a bit get, gets a bit uh, too scratchy, a bit ice picky for me you know I also am a big fan of a Duncan Distortion, I already mentioned that one bare knuckle nail bombs I've got in on the guitar so I mentioned all these pickups that I like and they're all pretty high in the mids uh, that's what we aimed for with this pickup, like I say it might change, the logo might change we're, we're thinking at the moment to, uh, in fact, I could do with, I could do with your opinion on this. So we're thinking about losing the uh, the, the screws completely, so they're not visible, and just keeping it plain black and kind of gothic, you know, kind of uh, kind of keeping it a dark, stealthy look to it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want to lose my logo even off it? You might want rid of my logo, uh, or do you want to lose the Voodoo logo, which looks absolutely awesome by the way, Voodoo logo. We do also have some nine core logos in Chrome as well. They might look better, but either way, I absolutely love the way it looks. I'm 100% pleased with it. It'll look better in person than they actually do on the photos that Rich sent. I'm going to stick them in that guitar. The next time you see these, you will be hearing them as well. I cannot wait. Rich says get ready, you know, because they will make you want to change the way your amp is dialed in because they are different from any other pickup that he has ever played or heard. So thank you very much for watching. Massive thanks to Voodoo Custom Pickups. The link for Voodoo Custom Pickups is down in the description. Please go give them a like on Facebook. 
search them out there's tons of other pickups that they make there and they've just run a competition actually for giving away uh, a pickup with I think it has like a Halloween um, Halloween graphics on they have a guy there that they work with that paints stuff on them I'm definitely once I am 100% happy with these I am gonna go and order some custom ones with some artwork on as well I think because I'd be a fool not to have some with some artwork on but yeah go check them out thanks very much for watching please subscribe and click the bell the next time you see these pickups sorry you will also be hearing them thanks very much and I'll see you all soon